Okay, so let's get started on making this fabulous three tier cake. So what I've got here is I've got the top tier uh, cake. Now I don't have any eight inch round cake tins, so I just bake off uh, two eight inch squares and carve it into the eight inch round. The good thing is we get Scooby snacks, uh, which is always good. Time to get the kettle on. Okay, so you can see we've got two flat tops. We've got big bits here, but these big bits will get covered with uh, chocolate, chocolate ganache. So, uh, so it's going to be happy days, whoever gets that slice of extra chocolate. So again, turn it around. Oh no, I'm going to use that as the base because it's a wee bit crumbly. And use this one as a, ni a nicer top. Look at that. Okay. Back and forward. Look at that. So you can see the whole cake's kind of got a little bit of a wobble on it. And that's just because it's a really moist cake. It's got lots of um, moisture with the oil but you know it's always going to be yummy and tasty. There's nothing worse when you get a chocolate cake and it's dry. Look at that. Uh, I bet Philip Schofield wishes he was jumping out of this cake. <laughs> there we go. Right, so again, same thing. Just scrape off the excess. And we can go on. Now, this, part, this scraper's got a slight... It feels, it's got a slight curve on it. It sounds like when I squeeze too much, it bends it. There we go. So that's better. Okay, so on again. And just slowly, just right now, if you've not got one of these turntables, you can just use your lazy Susan, or you can just do it on the table. All right, okay. So then just flip it over the rolling pin, over to the cake. Okay, and on. Like so. So that feels good. It feels a little bit more uh, dry, so that's good. So what we're looking for now is to find the halfway, uh, to the halfway point. So uh, if you hold, put your hand at the top and the bottom, so you can your fingers, so you can roughly see where the halfway point is. So I'd say the halfway point is there. Okay, so just put, press on. You can, uh, with the model being this big, you can use your, your pinky if you want, if you've got quite small pinkies. Uh, or just use your paintbrush. And all we're doing is just try to find where the eyes will go. And I can just give it a little brush with my hand. Just to, and it kind of gives it the forehead as well. There we go, that's good. Now if you get the self stick, um, so when I say self stick, I sort of pointy one like that, okay? And then uh, we just want to pop that underneath. Uh, and uh, let's just see if I can do that, yep. And I just want to get the nostrils. Like so. Okay. So once we've got the nostrils, I can then sort of shape a little bit more just to get that nose. That looks good. And again, I'm just going to push in a little bit more just so we've got space to get the teeth in. And we can close that off. It shouldn't harden because it's modeling paste. There you go. Now that feels just like a little bit too, too much. So just on there, take off the excess. It just makes it nice and tacky. All right, bring the head over. And just place that on. Make sure you can see that. Okay, and then we just start to work and just massage that through. It's a little bit ghostly like when you start, start to see it come through. Okay, so just a little bit of softness going on there underneath the chin. And then what we need to do is just do a little line almost that way. And then just go back and forward. A little bit of glue. Okay, and then just make it into a ball and into a sausage. Okay, and then just pressing that down. And we're going underneath, just roughly half on, half off. All right, okay, so that's fine. So then once you get the teeth in, 
Then we want to do is just put little lines, obviously, for the individual teeth. Okay, and that should get your hair, your big. So they're making individual strands, it's just a bit faster. I used to always do individual strands, but um, almost like miniature dreadlocks, but I've realised over the years it's quicker than it, something like panelling almost. Because you can blend it all together so it still looks like hair. You can see here just once that's on, you can just cut that and it just makes it look like it's all one. That's good. Now, if you think there'll be creases, um, as you see, and I look at the, the picture, there, there's little creases everywhere, um, so it doesn't look um, like it's just came out of the, the wardrobe. Um, so we just want to, there's quite a lot of creases, can you go on that way? These arms are going up the way. Yep, and then there's sort of creases going under the, under these arms. That's fine. And then there's a few wee creases just coming down here as well. There we go. The back of the knife again, so a little line across there. And then we've got one there, and then two. So one, two, three, yep. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. And again, I just get the tool and just do a couple of little lines just to thicken up. There we are. Jolly good. Excellent. There we go. So that's that. So that's the cake stacked. So that's the front there. And uh, we just use that to stick that down so it's like an edible glue. And that just comes all the way around. Now, what I thought would be quite nice is to give it a bit of a satiny feel. Um, I th what I thought we could do is put a satin ribbon over the top just to finish it off. Same thickness of ribbon. I don't know, it just looks really nice and elegant. So again, just over there. So another wee bit of glue on the back. Over a nice bit of chocolate. Okay, and then we just pop that on there. And that comes right round. There we go. Okay, all the way around. Now there is other machines, you get these these cutters, these little printers that print off that laser uh, that you can do with sugar nowadays. Um, again, don't have one. The problem is you can buy so many gadgets. So I do generally try to keep the, the gadgets to a minimum. Okay, and then all we want to do is just pop that in and we're just going around and just cutting that paste. Okay. Just press the first letter on. There we go. Okay. And then just the next one. So looking at it again, so we're going from the bumper up to about there. That's fine, switch it on. Now, just give it a little dab to make sure there's no excess. There we go, okay? Just let that dry off. So I'm not pulling back just now, I'm just letting the air dry off and then back on again. Okay, so there we go, that's cool. Okay, so I'll just get busy. Now, if we just have a look, make sure we're happy with the angles, clean my fingers. Bring that back around. That one looks like it's gone down a wee bit. The red one looks like it's gone down a wee bit, strangely. There we go, stand up. There we go, look at that. All right, so you can see we're really getting there. Okay, so all I have to do now is the, this tier here uh, and then the bottom one. So uh, we'll just do a wee fast forward, okay? So let's go.
Okay, so on to the last couple. Big squeeze. I'm doing three swirls of this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so, uh, so what we'll do is we'll put the head onto the body now, have a wee look, see how it looks. This is always the wee scary bit. Oh, look at that. Hello. Let's just pop that up there. Just give it a little bit of an angle forward so it looks like it's going to explode out of the cake and then uh, jumping up. Look at that. There we go. From a tiered cake, from making a little model, for doing the little cutouts of the cars, the letters, and of course, finishing off with the big swirlies at the end. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.